Hello from Miami. I am at Vibe and look, the exhibit hall coming down around me. Here's what the reg area looked like. People are leaving, everybody's got their bags and ah, oh, look who I've got. Weighing in with the big funding deals from Vibe. Matthew Holt, it is the March 10th episode of Health Tech Deals. <laughs> Well, we're selfie style here, so because we are on the move. Yeah, yeah, you had a fantastic professional cameraman, and we decided not to use him. <laughs> we're just no, using your No, we're using this. But yeah, I have interviews for you guys coming out of this. Even I, even I did some. Yeah, awesome. Some, some, the TCB, we full them all next week. Actually, a lot of stuff going on at the show. Pretty interesting. Yeah. And there were a few deals announced. Yeah, a lot of a lot of money, a lot of a lot money. money. Although around. actually, the most money wasn't at this show, but there was a decent amount of new money in this hall right here. Yeah. This week, so yeah. I guess. All right, let's do this. Set your timer. Get to it. Yeah. What else is going on? Not much right now. We kind of miss the action. It's a great. Yes, it's an official. Oh look. Oh, look. the boss himself. The boss himself. Wave. Wave. <laughs> Okay, well, we were interrupted by the boss, Jonathan Weiner, the head of health. Yeah. Vibe, we'll by. If you've ever been to a conference with Matthew Holt, you know you can't stand next to him without people coming up to him. He's like a I, celebrity. I, th I think he was coming to see you. I, thought, <laughs> I, I think thought. he was. Yeah, no, he did a great job. I was like a really good event. This was awesome. Congratulations yeah. to them. All right, set that timer. We've got a lot of deals to talk about here. All right, here we go. All right. Un, deux, trois, two minutes going. Oh my God. Now. 215 million. It can only be SoftBank money. And it went to Elemy. Matthew Holt, what yeah, do you think? It's an autism uh, plan and program. Look, it's a big serious problem. Um, they say in the uh, press release they're going to get to 100 million in revenue sometime this year. Sounds like evaluations over 1.2 billion. Sounds like a hell of a lot of money for a very specialized, you know, it's an important, but very, very specialized yeah, There's disease. not anything happening in that space. No, there's a couple of others. There's a, uh, there's a company called Cugno, which is also in that space, and there aren't that many people. They are expensive. You know, those kids are expensive. Obviously, not what needs to be done, but um, hard to imagine that they're going to have two huge businesses out of that, but SoftBank believes that. Um, the guy has got hair that looks a little bit like Adam Newman. Yes, there's definitely <laughs> a type that they, that they yeah. like to invest in. All right, what about Health Gorilla? They get 50 million. Okay, so this is more of the interoperability API thing, Steve Yaskin and his crew there. You know, they've been banging away pretty pretty well. You can now, using them and some other tools, get to a lot of health data. I think that there's a real business there. They're growing, they're growing pretty decently. Don't know who the eventual winner is going to be. All right, Flume Health gets 30 million. And I interviewed their CEO, but Matthew, what do you think? I was very clever. I met him briefly last night as well. Uh, very interesting. It's basically you can build your own health plan if you're like a capitated medical group or potentially, you know, a pharmacy or whoever else. And they've got the various pieces you need, like sort of claims processing and network management, that kind of stuff. Um, health plans are a bit, and, and by the way, actual health plans themselves might start using them to sort of deconstruct some of the stuff they, 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 don't, they don't want to do as a commodity. Yeah, so. Cigna and Optum are invent so, invested yeah, in there. Exactly. All right, what about Homeward? That's Jenny Schneider's new company, launched here, $20 million from General Catalyst. Well, see the interview that you did with her on the TCB and uh, you watched the help. But uh, <laughs> Homewood is, is pretty pretty cool. What it is, it's doing, it's going to be a mix of capitated and non-capitated care for people in rural communities. So they're setting up a rural care uh, provider network, terribly underserved. Um, 20 million General Catalyst money. Hopefully, uh, it'll improve some lives. Yeah. And what about M Disrupt? They get six. Oh, you just oh, got it. Oh, did I get it? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, M Disrupt. Uh, <laughs> The, the joke here is I'm a tiny investor, and this is interesting, right? So Rudy Garber, <clears throat> Rudy, the CEO, has put together a network of uh, different types of, it's basically like Levi Strauss mined gold miners. Uh, Ruby is gonna be mining the, uh, Ruby's gonna be mining the digital health community. Over the 50 billion spent, you know, in venture capital and digital health, what she's doing is putting together a network of uh, clinicians, operations people and others, who are both gonna be sort of validating digital health tools, helping digital health companies sort of get up the curve on stuff. I think it's a pretty clever idea. She's got basically a, a quite a good business now of sort of uh, leasing out staff and she's gonna build a platform for it. So I think it's pretty clever and hope it'll work well, <coughs> especially if I've put some money in. <laughs> <laughs> always about you. It's always, always about you. me. That never one really mind. is. A, that never one really mind. is. Hey, Patients, I'm, I'm. Never mind I'm the industry. The, never mind healthcare. It's always about that. I'm in the damn press release, which I didn't expect. To like, <laughs> uh, I didn't. Like they raised six million. I did not put in six million. If I had six million, I probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> and then what would we all do? <laughs>
Yeah, so did you have a fun show? Uh, it was good. I, you know, I, I had some interesting interviews, met some interesting people. Plus, it's Miami Beach, so you get to go out late and have fun, which is a bit different to some other places. Yeah. We saw Wycliffe Dream saw, last yeah, night. Yeah, that was the awesome. The Fugees, it was Very kind of... Very cool. <laughs> the police shut that down at the end. How awesome is that? <laughs> quite, quite amusing. Yeah. Yeah. About, about, he kept on going about, he's an old guy, he's in his 50s. He kept on going about the old guys showing up the young bucks. I, uh, yeah, You're like, me. yeah. Yes, it was me. <laughs> I, said, I, saw some, I saw some intense negotiations between uh, McKesson Ventures and Zelf. Yeah, I think there's she, a picture I, of that on I, Twitter. I, 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 yeah, I think, uh, I think Michelle Snyder was asking for her money back. Uh-oh. No, why? Uh, <laughs> that's not true. We're going to dinner with them later. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> yes, we'll find out the scoop on that. All right, guys. Well, if you want to catch more episodes of Health Tech Deals, head on over to our YouTube channel, search up Health Tech Deals, or subscribe to the email newsletter at thehealthcareblog.com. That little newsletter contains all of the interviews we do, all of these episodes, and the best of the blog um, delivered directly into your inbox every week. Yeah, my arms are starting to get tired. Right. We're like selfie style here. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.